It is a matter of historic record that successive governments have treated the military and our men and women in uniform with scorn, with derision and even with indifference. The story that we're bringing to you tonight on top of India Reports is one that will shock you for the kind of arrogance, the kind of insensitivity and cruelty with which a government can respond to a very sensitive petition in the Delhi High Court. This one filed by a MiG-21 pilot who survived narrowly in a crash nine years ago, all because he tried to save a village on the ground from his MiG-21. He actually stayed in the aircraft. When he took the government to court after he found out that it was negligence that caused the crash, here's the story of how the government actually reacted. Nine years after he received permanent debilitating injuries in a MiG-21 crash in Rajasthan, a serving Indian Air Force pilot has just had shocking insult added to those injuries. After he approached the Delhi High Court last year for desperate redressal, Headlines Today has exclusive access to the government's astonishing reply to him in court. A reply peppered with insults and questions on the character and intentions of the injured jet pilot. In May last year, Wing Commander Sanjeet Singh Kela had created a major splash by dragging the government to court over the circumstances in which his MiG-21 fighter jet crashed in 2005, a crash that rendered him permanently unfit to fly fighter jets. He continues to serve, though, training young cadets. Just months later, the government has shot back with a shockingly worded affidavit that systematically looks to discredit the injured pilot. While Wing Commander Kela has repeatedly informed the court that he's only looking for accountability to be fixed for the crash and not any monetary compensation, the government has pulled out all the stops to heap insults on his character. Insult 1. He did not seek legal remedy immediately after the crash. Insult 2. He's primarily looking for compensation. Insult 3. Accidents are an occupational hazard and that the pilot signed on for it. Insult 4. The pilot has only himself to blame for damage to career progression. Insult 5. Is disgruntled because of losing out on promotional prospects and that he's angry because he was rejected to the rank of group captain. Insult 6. Injuries are not due to the crash ejection. Insult 7. The pilot's assertions affect morale and discipline in the Air Force. Insult 8. The pilot's assertions affect operational efficiency and integrity of the armed forces. Insult 9. That his spinal injuries are commensurate with age and flying. And finally, Insult 10. That the petitioner is trying to hide his own fault and negligence. Uh, it's absolutely incorrect uh, for the government to take such a careless view of the whole situation. After all, this youngster has ejected. He's risked his life. You have to look at it very sympathetically as to what he's trying to say. And it's very clear that he is not claiming any monetary compensation. HAL comes up with absurdity. Maximum accidents or a large number of accidents in the Indian Air Force have been attributed to HAL. Insensitivity by an organization or by the systems per se which are in uh, vogue is not very good for any organization. Still a serving officer, Wing Commander Kela cannot speak to the press. But on the back of the government's inordinately insensitive stand in court, there are five big questions that demand answers. When the government itself has concluded that faulty manufacture caused the crash, why is it now insulting the injured pilot? Is it right for the government to question the character and intentions of a crash survivor who is debilitated for life? What gives the government the audacity to insinuate greed and career disgruntlement on a MiG-21 pilot who nearly died in an accident? Does the government stand lay bare its shocking indifference to aggrieved persons in uniform? And finally, if the government can treat a permanently debilitated crash survivor this way, is there no hope for others with less strenuous grievances? With Rishika Barua in Delhi, Shiv Arur for Headlines Today.